Today I'm going to be installing this beautiful radiator cooling panel from Royal Design Performance into my 2005 Toyota Corolla XRS. I also bought this intake grill from them as well, which mounts to the bumper here, but I won't be installing that in this video. For this video, we are focusing solely on this radiator cooling panel here. This should be a pretty easy install. It should take no more than about five minutes. So let's go ahead, get this installed, and then I'll talk a bit more about it when it's all put together. So installing this should be pretty easy. One 12 millimeter bolt on this side and one on this side to remove the radiator stays. Then two bolts here for the air injection, if you have it. And then one clip here for the grill. So everything we need to take out has been taken out, the air injection can move around, the radiator stays are gone, and the clip in the middle is gone. Now we can go ahead and put this on the car. There's also some new hardware included as well, so I don't have to reuse these rusty bolts and kill the look of this cooling panel. Now the radiator stays uh, aren't looking the best right now, but uh, it should be okay. I mean the radiator stays work fine, but uh, eventually I might get some new ones to clean up the look a little bit. All right, never mind. I lied. I thought I could get away without taking the grill out, but looks like I do actually need to take the grill out anyway. So a couple of things that I'm seeing, the install is going pretty well so far. One for the air injection here. In the photos, it looks like the air injection is supposed to go uh, over this metal here, which would make sense. That way you can take out the air injection here without having to remove the cooling panel. However, I think it'll actually work a little better, at least in my case here, to have the air injection under the cooling panel. The other thing that I've seen here is this middle clip does not line up with the, uh, the middle clip of my car. Now, this is not the fault of Royal Design Performance. It says here they're made in Malaysia, so all of their test cars and everything uh, are not USDM. And I've seen on their front grills that their clip is actually a little bit off-center here versus the US cars where they are center. So it should still fit totally fine. I don't see uh, why having this clip here I don't see why it suddenly won't fit anymore just because this clip is in a different spot because the hood latch is still fine. This cutout here for the latch on top here is totally fine and in the right spot and everything. So this being off center shouldn't be a problem. And again, just want to clarify, this is not the fault of Royal Design Performance. That's just how their cars are. So now we put the radiator stays back in and they just go on here and then uh, clip down. There's a little hole for uh, this extension part to go in and then for the bolt. I've made a bit of a silly mistake here. So, uh, you know how I said that the air injection I think would go better underneath? Well, it turns out that they actually include spacers. So yeah, the air injection should go on the top, but it looks like, uh, there we go, I can just pull it out just like that. And then there's a spacer that goes underneath it. So actually, never mind what I said before, the air injection does go better on top of the radiator cooling panel.
You know, the more I look at this uh, spacer, as I called it, it, it looks more like the spacer is actually meant to go on top of the air injection. It's supposed to seat uh, sort of on top of the air injection and, uh, and look like that, rather than go underneath and be used as a spacer like I have done here. But looking more at uh, how I have it set up here, I think this works better for me anyway. And the reason I say that is because when I test fitted and I had the uh, air injection on top and no spacer underneath, it sort of pushed the cooling panel a little bit up on this side. And obviously I don't have a clip here to hold it down. So I think this will work better for me because I don't have anything up here. But just know the way this was designed, this is not supposed to be a spacer. This is just an engine dress up piece and the bolt goes in and sits flush like that. And then it goes in like this, but I'm going to be using it as a spacer. Now, later on, I may custom fabricate a, uh, a bracket so that I can use this middle clip here, but I don't have anything like that now. So this is the install done for me. One bolt here, one bolt here, two bolts holding in the air injection. Boom, 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 done. Now we put the grill back on and put the two bolts on on either side and ignore the middle clip here. And then the install is done. And there we have it. This install is complete. Even with it not being uh, in the exact spot here, not being able to put the middle clip on, uh, it has no fitment problems at all. And it looks really, really good. This is a super nice addition to this engine bay. And now I'm just gonna take a microfiber cloth to it and clean it up because I got my greasy fingerprints all over this thing. So the idea with radiator cooling panels is when the air goes through the grill here, instead of some of the air coming up out here and over the radiator, this now blocks the air in and it goes from the grill straight into the radiator like that. I installed this more for looks than I did for, uh, for airflow performance because I've already upgraded my radiator. I didn't really need more efficient cooling because this kind of already does the job for me, but uh, this does make this engine bay look uh, cooler. <laughs> also shout out to this user here by the name of Jabeo who told me about this radiator cooling panel when I did my radiator upgrade video. So thank you very much, Jabeo. I never knew who Royal Design Performance was until you commented. I checked them out and their products look really good and they're really high quality. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I also have this little intake grill, which goes onto the bumper just like that and allows more air to get into the intake and whatnot. Now, the reason that I'm not installing it is one, I quite like the way it looks right now without uh, a hole cut into the bumper and uh, a grill in its place. Now this looks, I mean, don't get me wrong, this looks absolutely beautiful, but I do wanna keep this look for at least just a little bit longer. Two, as you can see, this just goes straight through, so what I wanna do is on the back put some sort of mesh here so that when I drive on the road, small little items such as small pebbles or rocks or bugs or whatever don't pass through this grill and go directly to my air filter behind the bumper there. And that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say about this product. It is absolutely fantastic looking. If you guys want to pick up one of these radiator cooling panels for your ninth gen Corolla or one of these intake grills or both, then I'll have links in the description down below. Go show Royal Design Performance some love for making this beautiful product for our cars. And with all of this being said and shown, thank you everyone very much for watching today's video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.